Sub-County Director of Education, County Executive of Education of Nairobi County, Chairman of Mahanam International High School, Deputy Principal, Distinguished Guests, Teachers, Parents, and my fellow students, good morning. My name is Marvel. I'm an year 10 student in Mahanaim. I am honored to be here this very day to give a speech on behalf of the students to the outgoing students. You all remember stepping into this school and now you're about to leave and start a new life out there. Now that your high school life is over, you have closed one chapter and you're about to open a new one. No more telling your parents, oh, I want more money every month, I want money every day. No. Now a new life has just begun, which will be tougher. My prayers is that you all join university. University and outside life there are full of freedom. You will only be accountable to yourself, government, and your parents. Be focused, read widely, find something to do that you love and enjoy. And like in high school, we are missing 10 minutes of a class time, the teacher will come looking for you. In the university, the lecturer doesn't care if you come or not. No one will be there telling you to read for your exams. Just make sure you don't fail or else you'll end up repeating. That's where friends come in. It's up to you to choose your friends wisely. As wise men say, if you want me to know you, show me your friends. Don't let anyone know you as a cunning student because of your pals. Remember, you'll go to the university alone, just as you came to this high school alone and get out alone. Please don't take my words negatively, as if I'm telling you not to have friends. No, I'm not saying that. On the contrary, you can have any friends you want, since everyone needs a, that one person who you can laugh with and cry with in terms of trouble. Just be wise whom you pick as your buddy. Don't be fooled. Not everyone who is your friend cares or loves you. I am sure you have heard of cases where one is dragged in a friend's party. Anything can happen, so be careful. You, you all want to become someone in life, a person who is respected. Remember that character reflects who you are. So when you join the university, try to do the right thing. Everyone wants to succeed in life, including me, but not everyone achieves that. So I will urge you to set your priorities right. Work hard so you can prosper in life. Remember education is an ornament in prosperity and is a refuge in adversity. Prosperity begins with a state of mind. One has to start on the right mind and be determined. Remember, you don't prosper by maintaining standards, you prosper by maintaining habits. You are what you are, not because of what you did, but because of what you keep doing. Hard work pays. If you see everything is not going your way, do not wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Because there are no shortcuts to any place worth going. Don't give up easily. As they say, it's hard to beat a person who never gives up. Be that you are meant to be. Do not let your past define you. Just focus on your present and future. Live the life of your dreams. When you start living the life of your dreams, there will always be obstacles, doubters, mistakes, setbacks along the way. But with hard work, perseverance, determination, and self-belief, there is no limit to what you can achieve. Be unique, do the extraordinary, not the ordinary. Because the difference between the ordinary and the extraordinary is that little extra effort. Let's not forget to, live, to remember to live a religious life. Because in everything, God is the one who knows our destiny. If you are possessed by the desire to be useful for God on this earth, he will honor you and you will prosper and your life will be a testimony of success. Last but not the least, some choices will either make you perish or prosper. Choose wisely. I repeat, some choices will either make you prosper or perish. Choose wisely. Thank you.